Okay, thank you. So, where are we? The Vic was found by party goer a little after 2 a.m. with a charger around her neck. Emmy says she's been dead for less than an hour. We've been conducting interviews and had a few people brought in for a follow-up. Whose house is it? It's a rental. Six girls in the rental agreement. So why these three? According to the interview, they had an interaction with the victim. All right, keep me in the loop. How do you want to do this? I'll take the drunk one. Okay, I'll take the college boy. What can you tell me about last night? I got there late. I didn't really see anything. Uh-huh. Who did you go with? Uh, I, I went by myself. Really? Uh, yes. That's interesting, because I heard... I was getting a drink from Sabrina and Delilah came in. What time was that? Around 10.30. What makes you so sure about the time? I was texting my girl goodnight. She goes to Northwestern. We text each other goodnight every night. How sweet. What made you notice Sabrina and Delilah? I heard it was a big party. Sabrina came in drunk, and Delilah was keeping her under control. Under control? Sabrina came in yelling and bumping into people, knocking drinks out of people's hands. So, pretty drunk. It wasn't like that. It was more like she was on something. But she has been going through a rough time right now. Why's that? Well, her boyfriend cheated on her. The sergeant at the front desk said you have some information. Yes, you have my friend in there. Has she been arrested? Because she hasn't done anything. Who is your friend? Sabrina, has she been arrested? No, she came in voluntarily to answer a few questions. Why don't you give me your name? Delilah, Delilah Sharp. Let's go talk to Mama quietly. Tell me about the party. What do you want to know? Let's start off with how you got to the party. I came with Sabrina. Who drove? Me. I was the designated driver. How nice of you. Yeah, I look out for her. How so? You know, best friends are always there for each other. Tell me about the party. What do you want to know? It was a party. Party where someone was killed. That happened after we left? What time was that? Huh? What time did you leave? I don't know, around 12.30? Who says she was killed at 12.30? Well, they... The body was found at 1.15, but a time of death has not been established. So tell me about the party. Look, the last time I saw Veronica, she was talking to the new guy. New guy? I think his name was Tony. I had nothing better to do, so I went to the party. What's the big deal? Who invited you? I just heard about it. Know anybody there? Not really, I just moved here. So what brings you to our little town? Just needed a change. A change from assault and battery? Mandos were trumped up charges. Her parents didn't like me, wanted to get rid of me. We'll come back to that. So where did you hear about this party again? I don't know, around? School, work, the library? I don't have a job. I was having a drink at the Clover and I heard somebody talking about a party. The Clover? That's a pretty rough place for college kids to hang out. Well, somebody must have been. So you knew nobody there? No. Be right back. Let's talk. What's he saying? Not much. Me in town, heard about the party at the Clover, didn't know anybody there, left early. Have a witness who puts him with the vicar on 12.30. Interesting. Thanks. I'll head back. Okay. Wait, the Clover? Did you drink at the party? It's a party. How about before? No. Ever been to the Clover? The dive on Route 12? Not my type of place. What type is that? 
It's a dive bar for low lights. How would you know if you've never been? My ex used to work there. How long have you known Delilah? Delilah? What about her? How long have you been friends? <laughs> What's funny? That Delilah and I are friends. So you're not? Because I heard you guys came to a party together. No, we used to be friends. We had a falling out. What happened? Let's just say that whenever I had a boyfriend, she always had a sudden interest in them. Did you see Sabrina and Delilah again that night? Yes. Sabrina was talking to some guy I've never seen before. Well, a little more than talking. Then her and Sabrina got into a fight. About what? It sounded like it was about a guy. The new guy? Not sure. Maybe. Did you see him again? Yes, he ran into me when he left. Spilled my drink all over me. What time was that? Late. I left a bit later, around 1. How do you know Veronica? I don't know her that well. Really? Because she broke off a makeout session just to go find you. Is that why they were fighting? Did Veronica and Northwest know about one another? Okay, look. It was stupid. I never get to see her. Veronica just happened. It was temporary. She knew I had a girlfriend, but then she threatened to tell my girlfriend. How did that make you feel? It sucked, but I didn't want to kill her. Relax, we know. We have witnesses that see you downstairs for most of the night. Tell me about the fight. What fight? I don't know. How many fights were there? No, I mean, what fight? I don't remember any fights. We have reports of you and Veronica fighting about a guy. Okay, I fought with Veronica. I didn't want to tell you guys anything because then you would think I killed her, but I didn't. And what happened? I met this guy. I was a little drunk, we started making out. Veronica comes over yelling how she saw him first. I mean, what are we, junior high? And then? There is no end then. I told her I didn't care that she could have him. And that's it? She seemed satisfied by the answer and she went looking for him. I thought you didn't know anyone at the party. Huh? You said you didn't know anyone at the party and there were two ladies fighting for you. I didn't know anybody when I got there, but I'm a friendly guy. Tell me about it. I met this girl and we started to hit it off. And? It was early. I told her how to go say hi to someone and we would meet up later. She said that was cool. She was gonna meet up with Noah. Who's Noah? No idea. Okay, so who are you going to meet? Nobody. I just didn't want to get tied down. What was her name? Mm, didn't get that far. <clears throat> we were supposed to meet up later. Then I met the other girl. Then she had to take off. Did you get her name? Mm, yeah, Sabrina. Did you see her again? No, not again. Why not? I don't need any drama. What do you mean? Some girl comes up to me and tells me she's Sabrina's girlfriend. I'm like, that's not how she was acting. She's like, yeah, well, she's using me to make her jealous. So she tells me, you can have the other one. The other one. Like, I need her permission. So I tell her, let's see who gets jealous. Then I take off to find Sabrina. What happened? Didn't find her. And the other girl? Never saw her again. Describe the other girl. Um, red hair, brown eyes. Is this her? Wait, is she dead? I didn't do this. Convince me. Okay, what time did she die? Why, so you can change your story? Okay, I left to run one. Okay, did anybody see you? Some guy spilled his drink on me when I left. All right, let's take a break. Want something to drink? I just wanna go home. Then convince me you didn't do it. Look, I wasn't even the only one trying to get at them. What do you mean? Some girl was kissing Sabrina later on that night. What did she look like? Don't know. Short, dark hair. Did you see her again? As I was leaving, she told me to leave her girl alone and took off upstairs. So how close are you and Delilah? I told you not that. I know what you told me, but you see, I have witnesses who tell me that you're a little closer than that. What? You two were making out the party. No, we... But, I mean, I wasn't that drunk. People say you were pretty drunk. No, Delilah came 
over before the party. She had a bottle of red fern. It's my favorite wine. She said she was celebrating, didn't have anyone to drink with. I had one glass. And at the party? I, I assumed I did because I feel like crap, but I don't really remember drinking. The whole night is a blur. Do you remember kissing anybody? Kissing? I, I remember some guy and... Oh my gosh. It hurts, Delilah. She came over to me telling me how I was the only one who understood her and when was I gonna get that and then she just... Kissed you? I thought you and Sabrina were best friends. We... we are. Really? Because she thinks you're always interested in her boyfriends. Yeah, because she chooses losers. Why well, is that your problem? You looking out for her? No, I think she's looking at her. Huh? We have reports of Sabrina acting drunk all night. Problem is, she only had one glass of wine with you before the party. Did you drug her? You sure? We are drawing her blood up right now. And she gave us permission to search her house. And we're drawing up a warrant to search your house next. What are we gonna find? Look, someone needs to take care of Sabrina. You? Yes, I... I love her. So why kill Veronica? That was Tony. Couldn't be. He's in the clear. Everyone is in the clear except you. You thought tonight was finally your night. You were gonna give something to Sabrina to loosen her up and then make your move. She's fragile because he just broke up with someone. But then Tony swoops in and makes his move first. And then you see him with Veronica. Did you decide to kill her then? No. Let me talk to Sabrina. Sabrina wants nothing to do with you. That's a lie. Yeah? Take a look at this. Sabrina, can't you see? I love you. I'm the only one that cares about you. I killed for you. Delilah Sharp, you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You got a right to an attorney. If you cannot afford one, one will be provided for you. So, it all came down to jealousy. Love or money. It always comes down to love or money. You know, we didn't have enough for a search warrant. We do now.